What is up, YouTube? This is Love My Kicks back again, and here we have the Yeezy Boost 350 Authentic Pair, not unauthorized authentic. These are authentic, 100%. Um, as you can tell from unauthorized, they have a black box, and um, this one obviously is the actual retail box. It's basic cardboard, nothing special. Flip it around, same thing. Got your Yeezy Boost 350, Yeezy Dot Supply, whatever. So nothing special. It um, pops open like this. Um, let me flip it this way so you can keep the size in the skew. But anyways, it's like that. Um, the Yeezys actually came in whole sizes, like the Yeezy 750, so nobody got half sizes. But um, there it is right there. First impressions when I saw it and I t and I felt it, I was like, ah, oh, it's okay. But after actually having it in my possession over time, I just feel like as I look more and more in detail, this shoe is actually put together really, really well. A lot of people want to say it's like a Roshi run, but I just feel like this shoe is really well made. The Roshi run material is really thin, in my opinion, compared to this. This is really nice and thick, and you know, flexible. And then you got the full length boost in it. Like there's no cushioning system like a Roshi run. I, I, like that Roshi run is just like, it feels like it's just foam. Or like some type of just fire line material. This is actually like, the boost is actually incorporated in this shoe. So you feel the comfort. So um, with Adidas and Kanye West, I really feel like they put a lot of detail into this shoe. Especially with the pool tab. Like it's really nice and thick and durable. Like I just don't feel any problems. Then you still got this. And with this seam on the front, you would think that it might rip or break open or anything like that, but they actually have that right there, which is like a tape type material that actually is all the way down to the to the front of the shoe. And then um, also under the insole, let me take this paper out, under the insole as well, they actually have the same material. So it, it can't, you can't really see it because of the lighting, but right here down the middle, all down here is the same material. So it's actually a real pliable shoe. Also, don't be fooled by the uh, unauthorized authentics or fakes. With the insole, they actually, it's not uh, black when it says Adidas and Yeezy. It actually is white. So uh, that's one thing to look for. So make sure you don't get got because a lot of people on eBay right now are selling these things for crazy, crazy prices. I think I've seen the highest is 1400 and the lowest is like 600 So don't be fooled. And then also as well, if you look right here on the Yeezy, it's actually bigger. So like... This is actually pretty small, but it's actually like, think about it being like this, like from here to like literally like that much bigger. So be careful on that. And um, overall, man, I just think Adidas did a real good job on this shoe. They actually did a real great job in my opinion. It's real comfortable. Um, I really don't have much to say about it in a negative way, besides the fact of like, Okay, if you buy it, it's because Yeezy's name's on it. But, and if you can't get it, there's always the, the Prime Knit Tubular. You know, it's the same thing, only difference is there's no boost in it to me, because this is Prime Knit. This is supposed to be Prime Knit, so. Um, and, in my opinion, I just feel like everybody's just falling to the Yeezy thing. Like, this is actually my first pair of Yeezys. So, the 750, I really wasn't feeling them. And then the Nike ones, I just... The Yeezy 1, I wasn't feeling the Yeezy 2, I, I won it, but I just lucked out on all three, which it happens. But um, obviously these were more, they're not limited, they actually had more available, so that was a good thing. But I just don't think, um, they're not worth a $1,000, they're not worth $1,400, they're not worth that. I think it's Yeezy's name that makes it worth it, and, and the fact that they're somewhat limited and it's a different type of style, because... Yeezy's that type of person where you either love him or you hate him, but then again, he's a trendsetter and he makes you like still, even though you don't like him, you still kind of respect him on the level of being an artist or somebody in the fashion world. Now, when I first seen these shoes, like at his fashion like show in New York, I didn't like them at all, but as time go, got, went by, I actually started to like them, and now I have them in hand, I really like them. So, you know, that's just the type of thing that happens when it comes down to these shoes and everything. So, and, um... That's just how Kanye is. He's just that type of person. So I don't know how they're going to hold up. I know they had a video of um, a lady or a young adult or whatever you want to call it. Some girl doing ballet in them. I don't know if that was just BS or not. But it was an actual video of it. So um, yeah, man. So let me know what you think. Did you actually cop a pair? Did you, did you miss out on a pair? Do you want a pair? Um, 
and yeah, that's really about it. I got the KD8 performance video coming up soon, so we'll get to that real soon. I actually, did a, I already hooped in, a, hooped in them once, so that'll be a video coming up next. I just want to break them in before I give you my honest opinion. So uh, besides that, man, um, hit that thumbs up button, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is Love My Kicks 1, man. I'm out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Love My Kicks. And um, peace.